Donald Trump was elected by duping millions of Americans into believing he was a populist who shared their concerns. He promised to drain the swamp. But Washington looks more like the Everglades than ever, with the avaricious alligators having more money and more influence than even before Trump's arrival. The president's outrageous new $4.1 trillion budget for 2018 exposes Trump as the two-faced charlatan that does the bidding for Cadillac conservatives while sabotaging the safety net for regular people. His reverse Robin Hood budget would leave millions in desperation and destitution and millions more may die. Trump's budget would cut food stamps by $192 million over the next decade. $800 million would be carved out of Medicaid, which is health care for the poor. This would have a disproportionate impact on children, with 40% of all youths under age 6 relying on Medicaid. Trump's budget slices welfare by $21 billion. How are these people going to survive? How are they going to live? Trump's budget also undermines educational programs to help poor and middle class Americans fund college tuition. Trump's budget is so heartless, it drastically cuts funding for international AIDS relief programs. AMFAR projects these cuts could kill 1 million people and orphan more than 300,000 children. This from a party that claims to be pro-life and care about family values. The only thing they care about are fetuses. If you're no longer a fetus, they don't give a damn about you. Some of these cuts were so draconian, they even alarmed Congressman Mark Meadows, who leads the teabagger Freedom Caucus. According to Mark Meadows, Meals on Wheels, even for some of us who are considered fiscal hawks, may be a bridge too far. Meanwhile, the military received a 10% increase in funding, even though the United States already spends more in defense than the next eight countries combined. Trump certainly has made America great again if you're a defense contractor and work for the military industrial complex. Trump also includes $1.6 billion for his border wall, which is odd, considering Mexico was supposed to pay for it. Trump voters, you didn't really think that was going to happen, did you? In Trump's twisted fantasy world of fuzzy math, he's going to give $2 trillion in tax cuts to millionaires and billionaires. He actually thinks this will magically unleash some incredible economic growth, which will in turn lead to increased tax revenues going to Washington of $2 trillion, which will offset his tax cuts for the wealthy. This is called trickle-down Reaganomics, or voodoo economics. Indeed, President Reagan tried this crackpot economic philosophy. In 1982, he cut the top income tax rate from 70% to 28%, and the corporate rate from 48% to 34%. This led to a $1.4 trillion deficit, nearly doubling the debt. Former Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal also tried voodoo economics. He took his state from a $1 billion surplus to a $1.5 billion deficit. Kansas Republican Governor Sam Brownback also experimented with trickle-down, and it didn't trickle down. The state is a complete mess, and Brownback is the least popular governor in America. Let's not forget that growth is generally less under Republican presidents, and recessions more likely. According to The Economist, Alan Blinder and Mark Watson, since 1947, the economy grew on average 4.35% per year under Democratic presidents, while only 2.54% under Republican presidents. During that same time period, the economy was in recession for 49 quarters, with an astounding 41 of those 49 recession quarters under Republicans and only 8 under Democrats. This cannot be by chance. This cannot be serendipitous. Conservative economics are an abject failure, and Trump is offering the same old tired Republican lies that have devastated our economy and ballooned deficits for decades. While Trump appealed to hard hats during his campaign, only the hard-headed still claim Trump kept his promises to help the middle and working classes. Trump lured and bamboozled voters with his big red Make America Great Again hat. But his budget would lead to a cruel and depraved hat-in-hand society that strips people of their basic human dignity. If Trump hasn't been impeached by 2020, his re-election campaign slogan should be, Take from the poor so the rich can have more. Until we meet again, this is Wayne Besson. Have a great day.